I'm Tarlan Amadov and I'm helping refugees and asylees to be self-sufficient in the state of Maine. RIS has so many different services such as case management, employment services, mentoring services, elderly services, services for victims of tortures. We also have a, a specific uh, program for the immigration and helping families to reunify. So whenever refugees are coming, we will receive their bios, their arrival notices, so we can prepare housing, um, food for them for the first night. We also help them to navigate the whole system, go for different social service providers, and establish their life. I'm originally from Iraq. I lived there for 15 years. Staying there was no longer an option for me because, because of the situation and I was targeted as a person. Like in, they, they shot at me many times and they tried to kidnap me. Most of our clients are having a trouble with adjustment to new uh, environment. Uh, they come from everywhere and so the new city, new place where they live are very different for them. Hey, how's it going? Uh, mentoring program is one of the successful uh, you know, initiatives that we have here in, in program and it helps uh, refugee and asylee clients to uh, find a sustainable uh, life experience and learn different skills, go back for employment, go to school. Uh, when I first met Ahmed, very motivated um, and didn't quite know what to do with his time. My goals were always the same. Uh, they never change, I think. Uh, I want to go to college and graduate, get a degree in civil engineering and start working in civil engineering as a career. Uh, so we were applying for college. He, he was helping me apply in college and everything, every step. We were here. We come like every week and discuss things and discuss the application. He was always there with me. I just cannot, you know, tell you how much he helped me. So he got, the, he got the application in, he got that going, and then he found a job. You know, suddenly he went from having too much time on his hands to now he has no time on his hands. <laughs> As the refugee program been uh, growing, it was a really big need for the languages. Because so many clients, they don't speak English, and it was natural to grow and born the new program called Language Partners that uh, really helping to our program and also community-wide to provide uh, live interpreter services and also plus translations. People who work for RIS, who serve for RIS, who volunteering for RIS are so proud to be here because they know their hope for people who come here without anything, for people who are refugees, who moved to a new place and have so many hope and dreams about the United States. So we are fulfilling their dreams.